Hey folks, this is Sean Bagshaw from OutdoorExposurePhoto.com and PhotoCascadia.com. Welcome to another video photography tip. As digital camera resolution continues to increase, with 30 to 50 megapixel cameras becoming the norm, and as photographers employ more advanced Photoshop techniques with lots of layers, smart objects, and luminosity masks, it's common to bump up against image file size limitations. PSD files have a maximum file size limit of 2 gigabytes. TIFF files have a 4 gigabyte size limit. Unfortunately, Photoshop doesn't do a good job of predicting final save file size when there are a lot of layers, masks, and smart objects involved. So even when the file size indicator shows a file size of less than 4 gigabytes, you'll often get this error message when trying to save it. I find that many of my images indicate a file size of less than 3 gigabytes, but actually exceed the 4 gigabyte limit. More and more, I get questions from other photographers wondering what to do when their images exceed the size limit. When an image exceeds the 4 gigabyte TIFF limit, the solution is to save it as a PSB file, where B stands for big. According to Adobe, PSB files have a size limit of 4 exabytes. I'd never even heard of an exabyte before, but apparently it's a million terabytes. So the PSB format should do the trick for just about any image, especially considering that my computer only has a measly 8 terabytes of hard drive space anyway. So for large image documents, PSB files are the solution, but they don't come without their own issues. You can see them in Bridge, but they don't generate their own thumbnail. This makes it hard to tell what the image is just by looking at it. If you're a Lightroom user like me, then you currently can't even import PSB files into your Lightroom catalog at all. This is a problem for me because I use Lightroom extensively for cataloging and locating my images. If I don't see an image in Lightroom, I quickly forget it even exists. It also means that I can't include the image in Lightroom slideshows, Lightroom collections, or print it from Lightroom. Even if I do remember that I have a particular PSB image, it's a hassle trying to hunt down where it is so I can open it in Photoshop. It would really be nice if Adobe would add PSB support to Lightroom, but I'm not the first person to say this, and so far they haven't. Until then, here's a solution that will enable you to see PSB images in Lightroom and Bridge. It's less than perfect, but better than nothing. I'll also mention that I didn't figure this out. As with most of what I know about photography, I learned it through the kindness of others who are smarter than I am, and I'm just paying the knowledge forward. When you find that one of your images won't save because it exceeds the 4 gigabyte limit, save it as a PSB file. When it's finished saving, the next step is to select all, which you can do with Control or Command A, and then copy Control or Command C. Next, make a new document. Since we just made a copy of the PSB file, its dimensions will automatically be used for the new document. Make sure that you have it in the RGB color space, and that everything else looks correct, and then click OK. We don't want to place the actual PSB file we copied into this document because we already know that that's too large. So what we want to do is go to File, Place Linked. And then we'll navigate to the PSB file and link or place that. This creates a single layer linked smart object that's linked back to the PSB file. We don't need to transform the linked image since it already fits the document, so you can click enter or click the check mark at the top. Now we're going to save this new linked file as a TIFF file. I'm actually going to find the PSB file so I can use its same file name, but I'm going to change it to PSB linked and then save it as a TIFF file.
Since this linked file is only one layer, it doesn't exceed the 4 gigabyte limit. Now I'm going to go to Lightroom and find the folder that the image is located in and I'm going to right click and synchronize that folder. And it finds the new linked to file image and I'll click synchronize and import and there it is. So now our PSB image file shows up in Lightroom and can be used in all the Lightroom modules. If you use Bridge, the thumbnail should now show up in Bridge next to the PSB file itself. If you want to work on the PSB file back in Photoshop, start by opening the linked image. Edit the original. In Photoshop, double click on the linked smart object and this will open the original PSB document with all the layers. Once you've opened the PSB document, you can make whatever changes that you wanted to make to that image file. I'm going to make something really obvious, so I'm just going to grab an elliptical marquee and add a levels adjustment and then click multiply to darken and that's not the adjustment that I would want to make but I just want you to be able to see what happens so at this point if I'm done making all my adjustments I will save the PSB file be ready because PSB files can take a long time to save once it's saved it'll update the smart object in the linked image file So when that's complete, we can take a look at the linked file and we'll see that that change has been updated. So now we can save this linked file and that of course saves much faster. And now when we go back to Lightroom, that image file shows the changes. So until Lightroom catalogs support PSB files, this is the best solution for managing your large image documents that I've seen. I hope you found this information helpful. Thanks for watching.